Warning, this is crazy. The following program is intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. This program contains themes, language, and nudity not suitable for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. You big dummy. Basically, talk about today. We're going to talk about gain retardation, gain retardation. That's what we're going to talk about. A lot of times when people come on my platform, right, um, people say, why are you there, Randolph? You're letting them abuse you. And I'm still concerned about the lady that didn't take the research and find out who I am so she can be able to be blessed and she understand is what I do as a minister. Jesus was hurt worse than me, people. I'm just a minister trying to tell people about Jesus. Now, retardation, gay retardation, being a homosexual and being gay is what goes on in my platform. The women who are gay and the men who are gay are the ones who are attacking me. All right? They feel so bad about themselves, they're confused, they're retarded. But when I speak, brothers and speak, sisters, I don't speak of opinion. I speak with a fact. If you go to my Facebook page, you're going to see I wrote everything and you can hit the links and the links to tell you um, the doctors, the research and everything. All right, so stop seeing me as a liar and do your research. Okay, thank you. And also... What I thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, I want you guys to realize the fact of the matter is that I'm a minister by the grace of God. I'm just giving you the word. All right. If I hurt you by the word, I don't mean to hurt you. I love you guys. I just want you guys to know whatever I do is by the grace of God, not by me. As I said before, you got to stop thinking because you gain, you have the right to protest. No. I'm straight. I don't have the right to protest. Just live your life. You are what we call gay retarded. And it's a mental sickness. And I'm going to give you that information, you know, for you guys to understand it's something that occurred and it's not your fault. All right. So I'm going to play, play what I wrote. All right, so you guys can hear. All right. All right, and remember, you might want to record this. All right. Hey, series, read my note. You have more than 25 notes. Your note called you are retarded, says May 2nd, 2024, time 4.41 a.m. My sermon, You Are Retarded, by Pastor D.R. Randall Gillis, man with a white cane. Please be advised I'm right with love that hate, so read it, pray on it, and get help if it applies to you, and please know, I'm always open to talk about my writing to people that listen, not debate, and those who come with evidence that would hate. This is not based on my opinion, this is based on a fact People that you that come on people's platform and bother them for no reason, it's only because they're retarded and also they all say the same thing. Oh, I have a lot of pages to come back and bother you. Those people have no control of what they're doing. Now also they live in a shelter or they live in a group home for adults and some of them may be those who live on the streets with a cell phone. I call them street tours to stop them from their behavior. If you see them on anybody's platform, don't laugh with them. Just pray for them cause if I see you guys laughing with them, I will block them. And also you why because you become the problem too. Now if you don't feed retarded behavior on social media, the woman and man on TikTok that is suffers from is laughing because they're retarded. This is the medical term for it so when you see them doing it this remember I told you they're sick they are retarded I can't control it that's why I paid him. No mind. Neurological disorders can also cause inappropriate laughter. One of the most common pseudobulbar effect trusted source occurs in many conditions including dementia, multiple sclerosis, traumatic brain injury, and Parkinson's disease. It affects communication between the frontal lobe and cerebellum, causing inappropriate laughter.
Keep reading to learn more about inappropriate laughter, including some of the possible medical causes and how to cope with or manage bouts of inappropriate laughter. That this is why I tell my moderators if you see them this block them. They serve no purpose to anybody, but they will serve a purpose to the jail or the solemn. No crazy counts until they get better. Always remember nobody wants a pebble when they shoo. So in my closing is that good to make fun of retarded people so if you see them on social media mass, report them for the safety and our children's safety. And license information PMC disclaimer. Now part two. The gay man and lesbians that go on other people's platforms, counting in mind, or what you call a term gay retardation. Based on my professional opinion, they are looking for someone to rip them apart. Do you want to hear the next note? Hello? Mm -hmm. And here's a person again, you know, they're basically calling, you know, and this is a, this is a behavior, you know, that they do. You see what I'm saying? And it's something, you know, that they don't, they don't have any control, you know, over. But it's something that they, you know, they do over and over and over again. So the behavior known as gay retardation. Mental hospital. Okay. I want to show you something. You're going to see what I'm talking about. Okay. Go no, ahead. Mama. See? This person doesn't have the power to stop. This person is gay. All right? They don't have the ability to stop. So what they do is they keep on calling and saying, your mama. But this is gay retardation. All right? Go on my page. You're going to either read and see what it's talking about. So that's what goes on. They're gay and they're retarded. They don't know any different. Now, you got people who are straight and they're who not retarded. But from medical information, that's retarded. That's being retarded. Game is being retarded. Now, if you want to talk to me about it, you can talk to me about it. But I want you to speak on facts, okay? I don't want you to think, speak on anger and stuff because I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to help you get help. All right? I am a minister. I'm only telling you what happened to you is because of a form of retardation. In many forms of retardation, it's moderate, it's profound, and it's locky. Locky means you walk around like normal people, but your thinking is not the same. Remember, you wanted, a woman wanted to have sex with another woman. That's retarded. All right? That's a medical sickness. A man want to have sex with another man. That's retarded. That's a sickness. All right, so you asked me a question, and you said, why do you want him so much? No. My thing is like this. If I have a subject, I'm going to stay on that subject. All right, so if you guys start screaming, cursing, it's only because the person is retarded. Okay, it's a gay retarded person. That's all the person is. All right, so that's why I just look at them, and I'm hoping other people look at them too and realize they have no control of their reaction of behavior pray for them and moderators if they can't control themselves you know we just block them and with the hope one day they get help okay let's open up so we can get some people to talk on the subject that we just now spoke on Hello. how are we doing today mr randall i'm all right we have a subject called gay retardation have you ever heard of it before? Uh, no, not really. It is such thing. Um, if you go on my, do you follow me on Facebook? Uh, I, I think I tried to find you on Facebook, but the only thing I seen was like a Muslim page or, or no, I don't know what it was. Randall Gillis. So what you got to do is look for the. Let's type in. Hey, Mr. Randall, Mr. Randall, please, because I don't want to drop talking to somebody. Thank you. And right, so what you do is you look at Randall. I'm the one. Is a lot. I have about three to four pages, right? 
but the one I'm using now is the one I'm wearing the red shirt and I'm in a limo, right? And it said, uh, there's a picture in the background that says the art of madness. Oh, okay, now, okay, okay. Right there, if you look at that, or what you can do, you have my number on TikTok, right? Uh, I, don't, I think so. I think. All right, you know how to get me on TikTok. Just go on TikTok and say, yo, Randall, I need to get you on Facebook and I give you the link and I give you everything you need to know. And it, this whole thing breaks down. It doesn't say what I say, but it's break down in medical information. And what I did, I fixed it to all you got to do is press the link and it goes right to the study and everything. So I'm not using my opinion. I'm using facts. I don't like speaking of opinions. I only like doing facts. So that's what I'm trying to do to people to understand why these people come on my page, why they act the way they act. Some people think they're trolls and that is trolls. The medical term for them is gay retardation. And then it tells you why they do this. Some of these okay, well, you Mr. Randall. Let me ask you I'm something. talking to him. Next time you'll... He's, he's not there. You're talking and he's... Yeah, he's but he's still hearing, okay? Until I'm finished. He's, he's not there. He's, uh, he's on another yeah, but call. But he still can hear me. All right, this is being he recorded. Because he's on another call. I said this is being recorded, so you're still going to be able to hear me. Mac out. I, I, so I just I just had a question, Mr. Randall. No, let me just finish. It part, cause it's, okay, go ahead. All right, because this is being recorded, people. So let me just finish, please. Thank you. So, therefore, gay retardation has been something a long time ago. People don't talk about it because people feel they'll be offended. But the only way you're going to correct a problem is you tell the truth. As I said before, if you get hurt by what I'm saying, I don't mean to help hurt you i mean to help you according towards the word of god and according towards medical information and according towards the facts so that's what i want people to understand with that knowledge we can probably have these people stop screaming on my page stop because if you don't give people the knowledge right people are going to do it but if you laugh at these people then you're feeding them but if you where did you get the knowledge from you I need googling this please I need no, to you always want to talk over other people. Yes. You act like you're a doctor or something. You never you been to a school. Every time. That's what you're showing us. All right. No, you're showing that by getting up here every day looking like All right. a you All right. You're retarded. Those I'll glasses are retarded. You, but you don't, don't shower. Drop, I will drop. That's part of retardation. You don't if wash you your ass. Stop. I got to drop you. All right. Oh, shut up. You drop your damn self. All right. You're looking nasty. You. Your eyebrows are nasty. You're a nasty old man. Ugh. Yuck. You need to put a Mr. Yuck sticker on your forehead. All right. So, as I said before, and I say it over and over again, people can't control their retardation. All right? They can't. So, you don't have a form of retardation. No, That's what they you can't. Do. You don't have So, I had to get rid of the other guy because he's not here any longer. But this person right here is keeps on talking and constantly following is retarded. And they has a disability. Now, you got to prove to me that I'm wrong, and you can't do that. Okay, I'm not. I don't have, I don't have any kind of disability. No. I'm, I'm pretty sure you got your check. I I got, prove, I, I, okay. Check this out. I can prove. Let me, body. Can you do the same? How can you prove that? I got medical I mean, documentation. Well, let me see. Let me see all your no, documentation. Excuse me. I have it. Now, let me. Now, that's what I will do. When you get yours. All right, and that means you got to do like I did. You have to see a medical doctor, you got to see a psychotherapist, and a psychiatrist and a psychologist. And they have to give you a letter state in your normal. Something you know you're not going to get. Did you get it? Yes, I have it. Let me see it. Let me see. I'm Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong this morning. Let me see. I'm waiting for your documentation because you're retarded. I didn't go see any of those people because I am right. You, are. you know, I, I got a question. Why? Why are you huh? here? This moment? Why are you Why running I... at this moment? What is the reason? I, I wanted to come to your sexy self this morning. That's why. Man, I don't want to hear from you. Do you understand that? I would like you to find something to do. Because what you I can't do is listen. A... And do listen. Don't be mean. Find to me. something to do. Listen. But listen to me. Find Please something listen. to do. And when you are able to talk to me like a woman, not like a retard. Then okay. We... Listen. Listen. Can you listen? Can you listen to me, please, sir? 
Will you listen to me, Mr. Randall? Huh? You don't ask people to listen to you after you curse somebody out. It doesn't work that way. We stay on the subject. Perfect. Good morning, Mr. Randall. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Randall. I'm just reaching out before my day starts. Thank you, but please stay on the subject. Thank you. I am. So Thank mental retardation is not a medical, actual uh, medical condition. I was here to say that, too. All right. So one person at a time, please. So um, okay. did you hear what I was saying earlier? Yes. All right, Mr. Thank you. Kim, did you hear what I said earlier? Mm-hmm. But it's not a documented, I, it's not a medical condition. I want you to do. It's not. Both your guys want to drop you. I just want you to talk, okay? But let me finish. That's why I asked you. All right? Go to my page on Facebook, right? Read what the, read what the medical doctor said. And I, I, my niece is a medical doctor. Can you do that for me? Yeah, she's actually a psychiatrist. Randall, I've never seen your Facebook. Listen, listen to you're not going to listen to him. I'm going to drop. Randall, did you know that you joined the transgender community on your Beagle? Yes. We can yes. see the communities you joined. So yes. if you're so opposed hello. to hello. I never homosexual people, why did you join that community? Hello. And why are you bashing them, too, if you're going to join the trans community? Are you going to let me talk or you want me to drop you and then talk after? We'll let you talk. I'll I let you talk. Speak. I need you guys not to act we talk. Okay? I need you guys to act like you got sense. Listen to me. Retarded only means slow. Kim, right, slow. Thank you, Kim. Now, but it doesn't have any correlation to gay people. But anyway, thank you. I'm like I'm giving so much here, and then I'm gonna have to drop you and then make the statement. It just shows that you're retarded. Boy, mental All right, I have this gay boy from mental hospital calling me. All right, so all the stuff that you guys are doing. All right, so what I'm saying, go to my page on Facebook, right? Read what the medical doctors say. I know what the doctors say. I know what the doctors say, Randall. They don't say that. All right. If you're not going to do it, don't come back on my platform. Why did you join the trans community if you dislike them? I'll tell you that in a second. Randall, okay. have you ever heard of the Rose's Law? I will say that in a second. That's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to go to my platform, right? And I want you to read that information, then come back to me. I know doctors in real life. Okay, they're doctors as well. She's a psychiatrist. They are psychiatrists too. All the but there is no such thing. What you're putting together, what you're uh, literally saying, um, is someone is gay slow. Oh, hello. Listen to me. That's it. Now, what's your other question? Why did you just join the transgender community I, if you are opposed just, to gay people? Not just join. I was dealing with them for a while. Not just join. Look at no, the, you jo I'm just asking why you joined. No, why did Randall? you join? Right, Randall, I have a question. Hello? So help me, I will block both of you guys. Do you understand me? Do it again. I will block both of you guys one by one. And I haven't said anything. All right? So I'm just saying one more time. Open that mouth. I'm just going to block you and talk without you. All right? My question is, do you know how long it was since I joined... That community chat. Do you know what it was? Do you know why I did it? I, I, I don't know any of that. I don't know. No, sir. The reason why I did it is for the safety of them. Did but you, you understand if I, I looked at that, it would look different? You read what I wrote. Mm -hmm. What did I say? Read what I wrote. Stop speaking on what you did. Read I'm just saying, anyone who talks about be not being yeah, gay oh, this much goodbye. is suspicious. Goodbye. Goodbye. Randall, you've talked about bashing gay people. Hello, both of you guys. If you're not going to listen. Your history does not say bye. otherwise, and I'm sorry. Bye. Goodbye. Come on, leave. All right, you want to just talk to be talking. I don't have time for that. I'm a busy man. Randall, I just want to let you know. I haven't said a single thing yet. I haven't said anything yet. All right, that's what I'm saying to you guys. If you want something, read it. All right, just don't come on the platform running your mouth, people. Read what I wrote. You asked me about the gay community. Read what I wrote. All right, you're surprised what I wrote. When I write things, I write in facts, people. Prove me wrong. All right, you're taking it a different way because you think because you're gay, you're special. No, 
By you being gay, you're sick. You retarded. All right? That's what medical therapy says. All right? I'm not saying that. So don't jump on me. All right? You know it ain't normal for a man to love another man. And you know it ain't normal for a woman to love another woman. And don't use that thing about don't put, you know, two materials together because you don't know what that means. One of the things I find amazing is that people that don't know the word of God always speak about knowing the word of God, and they don't. I'm just trying to tell you guys, get help. All right? That's all. Just get help. That's it. Now, you want to comment on something? Go ahead, my brother. Okay. So, the thing is, all right, I feel like personally, the way how you're taking this kind of thing, you're kind of bashing the the community, and please let me finish, okay. all right? No. Just, just break it down so we all can understand what you're saying. I was going to bring somebody else to the room, but I'm going to just have me and you talk. Now, I need you to break down what you're saying so we all can get the picture. Now, okay. Phil, why do you feel somebody is bashing you when they're telling you stuff with love? Why would you feel that way? Okay, because the fact that you use the word gay retardation in the same sentence. You have to understand that, the, that someone that is gay oh. and someone that is retarded do not go oh. hand in hand. I gave you... Do you understand that? Listen to me. Listen to me. I gave you the proof on my Facebook page. I'm only going by what they said. All right? I'm not saying it that myself. Now, you can keep on saying what you're saying, or you can go and do the verification, and you see I told you the truth. I didn't lie to you. You can't blame me for something somebody said. I'm telling you something that I read. Go on my page. All you got to do is click, and you go right into it. We're talking about medical doctors. We're talking about psychiatrists, psychologists. We're talking about social workers. All right? We're talking about people in the medical field. All right? We're Randall, when was the date of this article? Um, Go to my page. That's why I wrote it. All right? So you can look at What's it. What's your page so I can look at it? Just right. so I can see it. Randall Gillis. On Facebook. Randall. Yeah. Because, Randall, I don't... I don't want to talk to you on this. Okay? I want you to look. All right? Now, what's your other thing you wanted to say reference towards what you're saying? Because I'm not bashing nobody. And it's also coming off as hypocritical that uh, uh, you're going on the social media platform and you're speaking over me again. I really don't appreciate that because you won't even let me speak. You won't even let me fucking speak, you piece of shit. Fucking have a nice day, you asshole. Okay, people. He's talking about me being a hypocrite when I signed up on the rainbow gay thing that but you gotta read what I wrote. Alright? You gotta read what I wrote. And when I wrote on that thing is telling you guys be careful. Alright, love yourself. You're dealing with a mental sickness. It's not something that you're responsible for. Stop fighting over this. Life is too short. Okay? You got like ninety seven percent of people who are in the rainbow High, <coughs> high ratio of committing suicide. All right, Mr. Randall. So I got dropped a second ago because I think my phone was cutting in and out. Okay. But I wanted to ask you, man, do you think that you suffer from like multiple personality disorder? And I, let me let me explain real quick. No, wait. First, let me answer your question. Yeah, go ahead. Right. Not saying anything, but are you still running to explain you. Now, do you remember what I said about a month ago? No, can you refresh my mind? All right, I got background people. I need you guys to chill on that noise so I can hear what I'm saying, please. All right. I have people send the police to the house a lot, and they said it was something wrong with me. And I told you guys when the cops come, they come with EMS, right? They're ready to take you to a mental facility. Do you remember me saying that? Uh, vaguely. I I'm just asking because one minute I see you in the calm, the next minute. Sorry, go ahead. You're listen to me. So that's what people have been doing to me. And in New York City, when you do that, the cops come, like 13 of them come, and EMS come. It's a special unit. It's called mental police, mental health police. When I get a chance to snapshot the... Thing and post it to you, see what I'm telling you guys. It's called mental health police. All right, so they'd be sending them to my house. So, what I had to do for my sake, my, 
and for the safety of the police officer. I had a psychiatrist, psychologist, and psychologist. No, psychiatrist, 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 psychological psychologist, uh, psychotherapist, social worker, all those people, and an EEG and that stuff. And I had to get written documentation. This way, when a cop knocked on my door, what I have to do is give him the letter with the doctor's name and or, or history. There's nothing wrong with me. You see what I'm saying? So I've been seeing the same medical doctor that I have for many years. All right, like 26 years and counting. All right, there's nothing wrong with me. Now, if you see it in your mind that something is wrong with me, then you got to question yourself, why do you see it? And you got to talk to a psychiatrist or a therapist about why you see that. Do that make sense to you? Well, no, I'm just, uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. But what I'm saying is it's like one minute you're like, you're calm, and the next minute you unhinged. So, you, uh, I mean, maybe... So, I mean, you can't talk me If I can one, speak, one I minute. can tell you why he does that. He oh, does it ahead. because narcs, narcs me, Ms. like Kim, to keep you confused. Miss Kim, I'm going to give you a chance to talk. Please wait. Okay. 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 All right, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, well, no, she she was going to answer what I, what I was saying, but all I was saying is one minute you're like calm and you're cool and collective and you're willing to hear everybody out and you're in a good mood when you first start and 30 seconds later, five minutes later, you're like completely unhinged. You're dropping people. You, you're you talking about people being homophobic and this, that, and the third. It just is it's weird. I've never seen nobody homophobic. operate like that. My brother. I'm sorry. That somebody was homophobic. Well, whatever. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe I said the wrong word. I apologize. Drop people. I don't drop people unless it's a failure of communication. Now, look at how long I give a person to talk. All right. And that's why I'm going to start bringing in a timer to give everybody enough time to speak. But what I'm basically saying if you want respect, right, of communication, you have to give it. So if I'm saying to you guys, look, go to my page, all right, read, and you say, oh, da 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 da, oh, the doctor, this and that, I don't want to hear it. You can say it, but I'm giving you proof. You see what I'm saying? Once I give you proof, then you bring that to me, and then you say, you know something, um, this is what it says. All right, you came with proof. What year is it? If this is saying this, we're on this year, or this saying when they did the study and all this stuff, that's my proof. That's my evidence. But it almost seems like every time somebody disagrees with you, like if they're not in agreement with you, you don't want to hear none of what they got to say. Right. No, I sir, let's make a correction on it. Okay, I'm going to say it again, and I put my face in it. I hear everybody out. I'm not responsible if you believe I don't. I hear everybody out, and I can respond to everybody. It's nothing new that people say. So please keep that in mind. You may feel that way, but I hear everybody out. That's why I'm able to respond to everybody effectively the way I feel I'm responding. I don't know about anybody else. If I tell you something, and I'm coming to you with proof, and you come with your opinion, that's your opinion. We can agree to disagree. But the only thing I ask you is to remember that. We can agree to disagree. You can feel whatever way you want to feel. All right? But I want you to understand that's how you feel. So uh, we can agree to disagree. I, I, I hear you on that part. But I guess when I try to have a conversation with somebody, I always try to hear out what the other person is saying. Whether or not I, I agree with what they're saying, and we can go back and forth and, and have a civil conversation. But it seems with you, you get irate and, and to the point that, you, you want to just drop people. You don't want to hear what they have to say. And I guess I don't understand what's the point of you being on social media if you don't even want to hear what other people have to say. I guess what I'm saying, sir, if you listen to what people say, right, it's a repeat of what other people say over and over and over. This is all you're doing. The same thing other people are doing. But nobody's taking the time out to listen and say, wait a minute, Reverend already answered that question why they keep on asking it over and over again. If you don't and I'm gonna to try to answer the question he actually asked. Miss miss one second please. I'll pass the mic. I'll pass the mic. Pull me out, people. So I just want you guys to understand that. If you say the same thing over and over again, right? After a while it becomes tiresome. Mm -hmm. Boring. 
All right, so yeah. put the timer. All right. This, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you three minutes to talk. Right? Okay, thank you. I'm going to give you, I give you three minutes to talk, but at that time, I want you to please keep on the subject. Sure. If I'm saying to you guys, right, it's called gay retardation, and I'm telling you to look on my page, and you don't want to look on my page, that's not on me. I did my proof. I did my research. You're just doing your talking. So let me stop. Hold on. All right. Well, he starts that, Miss Kim. I just wanted to say that I appreciate everything you wait, come up. Um, Kim, my brother, I'm, I got to start the time over again. All right. That's that. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. All right. Kim, it's yours. You got three minutes. Okay. So but to answer your question, he doesn't have multiple personality disorders. What, what narcissists? Uh, do is they live a life of duality, right? So what looks like, say, today I will be, uh, I'm against the gay community, right? But then I'm going to join the transgender community, and we can literally see the search records. We can see your search history. So it's not just that we can see that you joined the transgender community. We can actually see the ones you like, uh, the pictures or videos that you like, so if I am secretly kind of enjoying that, nothing wrong with it at all. I'm not homophobic. I'm saying it's absolutely okay. But then every day you make it your point to talk about how bad it is, how wrong it is, how it's not okay. It's kind of like the preacher who was in Atlanta who said that when they came with the accusations of him being with young boys, he was like, it is absolutely false. I'm going to fight it like David with Hello. Goliath. It's not been three minutes. Over here, it's three minutes. It's not been, that was not three minutes. It says, now let me respond. That was not three minutes, Miss, Randall. It's three minutes. If we're telling the truth, that wasn't three minutes. It's my, Thank you, Miss Kim. I appreciate it. Oh, here we go. Ms. It's all about confusion. Miss Kim, are you going to start? And baffling with bullshit. Are you going to let That's talk, Miss Kim? I gave you a chance. Yeah, but you didn't give me three minutes, right? Yeah, because you, Mrs. Kim, it's three you minutes. You said you were going to give me three minutes. Yeah, three minutes. This is the duality I'm Ms. talking about. People. You're not getting three minutes. You're not. He speaks with forked tongues. Okay, you're not getting three minutes. You said That's what you said you would get. You said you, not, you said you didn't get it, right? So you didn't get it. No, I didn't get it. All right. Did you get three seconds? Since you're talking about being fair. You get three seconds. Mm-hmm. Right, so but you, I'm just saying, right? narcissists live a life of duality. All right. So they will never take a position. It will always shift. Talk on. Because confusion is their game. Are you going to let me talk? There is no medical term for mental uh, gay retardation at all. All I ask you guys to do is to come with proof. Don't come with your words. That's what I ask you guys to do. Don't come with your words. All right? Come with proof. Now, I didn't debate the fact of the matter that I joined gay groups and I like, I put likes and all that stuff. I never said I didn't. But you got to remember, for me to... Don't that seem a little suspect, though? Let me finish, please. All right, go ahead. All right, I'm, I'm going to hit Bible, okay? I'm not going to hit me. I'm going to hit Bible. Apostle Paul said, I learned something so I can be able to bring them out. For me to understand the gay community, their struggles, I have to participate in the study of them. I just can't turn around and say, the person is gay and this and this, and I don't know their story. I can't do that. So if I support you, right, and you did a good dance, I support you not as a gay person. I support you as a person who's doing a dance. Do you but, but if I mean, if you like it, you can just say that yeah, you like it because it, it seems weird, let, man. Let me finish, please, because I don't want to drop you. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead, sir. So you can feel, that's what I'm saying. You can say it's weird. You know, there's a lot of things in this world that I turn around and I believe it's weird. But that's my opinion. But it doesn't stop the fact of the matter. It may not be where it is. May be my concept. All right. For me to help people, I have to turn around and support people. 
And what do I mean by that? If I see you doing a good dance, I'm going to hit you. Say, yo, that's a good dance. I see you speaking good. I'm going to hit you. But for a person to say that suspect, you got to ask yourself, why do you feel that suspect? Because that's your mindset. See, nobody knows what is in a person's mind, but the person itself. You know, so when you say I go up and down, yes, I go up and down because when I'm trying to talk, you guys are not letting me talk. All right. And I have to let you know, this is my page. Give me the respect. Okay. I understand you setting boundaries. I get that. That's it. All right. But but can I what? respond to what you just said? Give me a second. Give me a second. If you ever notice, my voice stays down when you respect me. But when you don't respect me, my voice goes up. No more different than anybody else. All right. So I'm just asking you, when you talk, understand the principle of vulnerabilities. Understand we're not perfect, but have facts when you talk. You see what I'm saying? And understand that's your opinion. The problem on social media, people make it like it's a fact. You know, they're looking, they're talking like I'm going to turn around and say, no, I didn't do it. But if I did something, let's say yes, like Apostle Paul did. Apostle Paul said, I will do all these things to help. Remember, I'm not having sex with nobody. Right? I'm not having sex with men. I'm looking at what they do to bring them out of homosexuality and bring them into Christ. And I can only do it according to a scripture. So you got to remember, when you say, I did something, remember, I'm following scripture. All right? I'm trying to bring them out. Okay? Hey, you said that part. I heard that part. Yep. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. All right. So... Well, I'm saying is, for instance, I don't have a problem with the gay community. I, I'm married. I, I got a wife. Okay, I don't. Right. What they do, what they, what they life, I don't care. But I guess it would be well, weird for me to go on a page. Um, let me finish, man. You no, ain't let me finish. You said something. You said. Something. All right, go ahead, man. I sit and wait. <laughs> do you think I have a problem with the gay community? I would say so. I right, that's you, but I don't. All right, and let me explain something. That's what I need you to understand, and everybody. Everybody in the chat is saying, "Let me finish." I'm going to let you finish, my brother. Okay. I, a, I have mics. Of, I have microphones in the house. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to start listening to you. All right, because I have other things to do, and I'm going to come back. But what I'm saying to you is this: That's what you believe. You believe that I have problems with them, but I don't. If I didn't care, I wouldn't be here helping them. Do you understand? Like today, I don't think they want your help, though. That, is that the point? To want the help? I'm about Jesus, my brother. I'm not about them. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like it's a robber. When I had to go and minister to the people in jail, I had to go to the I had to understand why they went to jail. I had to do a study on them. And before I was able to help them, and say, okay, this is what you went to jail for. Remember, I used to deal with counseling where it's Barford for the young kids in jail and Rockets Island for the old kids. All right. So before I did that, I have to do my research. So you can feel what you feel, but I'm just telling you, that's what I'm trained to do. You don't open your mouth unless somebody gives you information on stuff. That's all I'm saying. Go ahead. I'm listening to you. So I guess I'm I'm confused because if I don't like something, then I don't I don't associate myself with it. I understand what you're saying as far as trying to understand them, but you've said too much negative about the the gay community that there's no going back now. You see what I'm saying? You ain't listening to nothing I'm saying, man. I wonder if looking through them glasses, like looking <laughs> looking through an aquarium. Just see a bunch of fish bubble, bubble, bubble. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a control tactic. What are you doing? I get that. He don't want to hear none of what I got to say. So that's his way of avoiding it. He just walks away and go takes a piss. All right, Mr. Randall, if you can hear me now, okay, I wanted to talk about this. So back in the 80s and the 90s. One second, my when, One second. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I heard everything you said, okay? Oh, I'm so, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. So my question, I, I told you before I left, 
and so they have mics in my house. You see a watch. Well, no, that's that's fine, but you don't respond. So I, I mean, I'm talking to myself at that point. If you stop talking. So therefore, what you said, I hear what you're saying, but what I'm saying to you, you have to understand that's how you feel about it. All right, and you got to understand that. See, you're speaking it in a way that I feel. <laughs> hundred percent, but that's on you. All right, you're a truck driver, right? Yeah. If By I, the name, you can see that. Yep, I'm a freight shaker. All right. How many um, how many gears do you have in your truck? Uh, Thirteen. If I told you I have only two gears and I can do the same thing you can do, would you believe me? No. Nah. All right, but you but would you take the time out to check? Yeah, why not? But some people. I don't, know, I don't get where we're going with this. I just wanted to. Let me show you. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, man. All right. See, this is what people don't like, though. You don't let nobody talk, man. Yeah. I, you walked away. I'm trying to have a conversation with you, man. I'm trying to show you something that you'll understand because you're a truck driver. That's how the Bible teaches me. I don't need the uh, the, the the analogies and, and right. stories. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to you have will. a conversation on what we're talking about. And that's what we're doing right now, my brother. Okay, go ahead, man. Do it. All right? So, you will take the time out to check to see if it's true. Other people won't. But with the technology that we have nowadays, it is possible for two gears to do the same job as 12 gears or 4 gears. Is all technology. See, I, I, I beg to differ with that because even the automatic semis, those, I mean, if you pay attention to the dash, them damn things got more gears than the manuals got. The only difference is, is that I'm manually shifting, which my truck's a manual versus an automatics. But anybody in the trucking field would know that. But you see what I'm saying? You'll give, yeah, I hear you. you'll give it a try. You know, the guy could be lying. All right. But instead of you saying, you know, something, I'm not going to try it. I'm going to see first. Right. That's what I'm saying about this conversation. If I say something to you, I just have, because that's what I do, all right? Because I do like the Bible, too, the scribes and Pharisees. When somebody said something, when Jesus said something, they went back to do the research. When people tell me things, right, I listen to everything, and at the end of the day, what I do is I do my research, okay? And then I say, okay, this is my research. And then I still have the gay community say, oh, I don't believe what they said. And I said, but... I did my research. I'm All not right, can I speak some facts to you real quick? Go ahead. Okay. So back in, you, me and you, I'm sure we can both agree on this. So back in like the early 70s, 80s, and even probably some of the 90s, when a person was gay, they were typically in the closet, right? They didn't, they weren't, they felt like they couldn't be themselves and they felt like people wouldn't accept them. We live in 2024, man. And you know what? I mean, people are... They're, they're proud of who they are. They're, they love themselves. And I, I think it's awesome. I'm going to be honest with you. Because to, to feel like you have to seclude yourself from society and, and hide who you are, it, I mean, I, I'm not gay, but I can't imagine the way that they feel, right? So what I'm saying is, is you know, you come on here and you say all these different things about home, you know, home, people being gay and this, that, and the third, and blah, blah, blah. How, how can you try? Now you're trying to understand them. I feel like you should have tried to understand in the beginning. I, so to me, it seems like it's a little too late for you to go back. So, so, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. See, that's why I was trying to tell you earlier, and you didn't get it. That's why I was trying to do little parts. I've been doing this for years, my brother. Do you understand me? Right. I've been doing research on not just gay community, any community, those who have Down syndrome, um, those who have retardation, those who are homicidical killers. So if you've done your research before, a long time ago, as you say, then why is it that you would let some of those things come out of your mouth that has recently no, come it, out about the, the gay fact, community? I, the reason of why, and I said this before, but you guys didn't get what I said. Let not words destroy you. Be stronger than that. Do you understand what I'm saying? What destroys a person is what they receive. Don't receive those words. If somebody says you're gay, or somebody says you're a faggot or a homosexual, why would you as a human being receive something that is true? 
as something that's negative. If it's real, it's real. Never get upset. And that's what I'm trying to do as a man of God. I don't get upset about it because, as I stated, I'm not gay. I'm married. I have a wife, right? And I have kids. So what I'm saying is, is it bothers me because you're just spewing out hate, right? And, no, and, and whether you see it that way, that's what it is, no, right? And everybody in the comments agree with that, right? My, my brother, see, listen to me. Go ahead, man. <laughs> you're going to cut me off again. All right, go ahead, I'm man. I keep on cutting you off because the fact of the matter, I need you to understand and the rest of the people to understand. I'm not giving hate. You receive hate, that's on you. All right? Okay. That's you. So it's, everything is in my head. All right, yeah. I hear you. It's on you. Tell me what did I say was hateful, and then just discuss it. If you can't do that, I can bring somebody else up. All right? But what I'm saying, what did I say was hateful? Because that's a lie of the hell. I'm not, well, I mean, calling people gay, calling people but, retarded, calling people I'm, slow, <laughs> mental right, retardation. Right I mean, the list goes on. Hello? If I'm telling the truth about a person, how could it? That's what fun? you defined as truth, though. See what I'm saying? Look at the dictionary. Look, That's what you sir. define as truth. You're Look not a medical doctor, so you can't state that. I'm going by the dictionary. Look in the dictionary. All right, it's not right. me. I'm going by the dictionary. This is the part that gets me. All right, this is the part that gets me. If I tell you that I'm coming with proof, how do you define proof unless it's the person who proved it? The, the, the point that's my point you 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 don't have no proof you got nothing to stand so, yeah, on you're not right. a medical doctor uh, so wait a minute wait a minute so what the doctors say are not true is that what you're saying but you're not a medical doctor the, just, what the doctors say is true, but what you say is not just relate are you an engine no but you use an engine to move right you knew right you're not an engine but you use the engine to move your car i am not a doctor but i use the medical information to help people. To your understanding, though. That's the that's the key difference. To your understanding. That's what you're not understanding, I'm Mr. Randall. Medical doctors say. What I'm trying to do is get people to stop focusing on what people say and just live your life. That's what I'm trying to do. People like you and people like other people, they have to understand. If I'm taking time out of my schedule to tell you to love yourself. Okay, Lucifer just said something that I wanted to point out. She said you have to have a license to drive a vehicle, right? You also have to have a license to be a medical doctor. You don't have a license right, to be a medical doctor. That's one of your own minds, man. My brother, you're not listening to what I'm saying to you. You don't need a license to show love, do you? No, you don't. But do you, but do you right. show love every day? Do you feel that you do? What I said to you, you don't need a license to show love. Let me ask you something. If you knew you had an opportunity to help people love themselves, would you do it? I try to do my best every day to do it. And that, I told you that before. My wife works in the mental mental health field. I've told you before we try to help people. And that's what I'm doing. Is trying to get. But how do you feel like you're being? How how do you feel that you're being helpful and contributing to society? That's what my question. Because I have a lot of people calling me up on my phone number saying, "You know, Randy, I really needed that. Thank you." Now, if any of them people are in the chat, I'd love to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation well, with them, brother. That's your question. Why would you have a one-on-one -on -one with them? Because I would like to know, maybe I'm, I'm not seeing what they're seeing. No, it's not. My brother, this is what I'm trying to say to you. A person's recovery is theirs individually, not yours. Okay. You oh, you're right. It ain't my business. You're right. Okay. Right. So if if 1,500 people come to me, to me, right, my phone is always blown up, and people are saying, right, you know. Is that with hate calls, though, or is that with people no, genuinely I, wanting to call you for help? No, no. I'm, I'm going to get to them. Okay. But okay. Saying, go ahead. I'm talking about 1,500 people calling me up saying, Randy, I was about to kill myself. But what you said was so right. Why would I give people the right to be in my head? And that's you know, See, I have a hard time believing that, though, because you would be the last person I would call because I can't even talk. Okay. You can't because it's not here. Not everything is for you. Like, for instance, if I wanted to know about EMS, I wouldn't contact you. I will contact EMS. If I want to know about trucks, I'm going to talk to you. You see what I'm saying? Because you deal with trucks. Well, if I want to talk about somebody that deals with mental stuff, I'm going to deal with people that deal with it. Hello? So, what I'm basically so, saying... Let me say this. So, if I was on the verge of blowing my brains out, why on earth would I call you when I can't even get a word out? 
it's hard for me to even have a conversation with you, let alone <laughs> I mean, try to deal with my own mental stuff. Yeah, but the thing is like this. If you're going to blow out your brains, you ain't going to talk to me. You just going to do it. All right? Well, you just said to people that wanted to kill themselves. <laughs> the, the, the words that just you came out of your mouth? I said to you, my brother, you didn't hear me. If you're going to commit suicide, ask any medical doctor. You t you're going to do it. The people that talk about it is because they don't want to do it. You understand? Uh, uh -huh. If you really want to kill yourself, you're going to kill yourself. I wouldn't say that because I had a good friend of mine, man, that, that, that there were signs that I wish I would have picked up on and things that he said, and then he eventually did it. So that's, that, that's a real one-sided way of thinking. I'm just, ask a medical doctor. Don't, ask, don't, don't listen to me. Ask a medical doctor. All right? I have climbed too many stairs. I have jumped too many rows when people are trying to commit suicide. And I'm running up the stairs and talking about, yo, give me a chance to talk to you before you turn around and commit suicide. So basically what you're saying is if they talk about it, they're just uh, uh, seeking attention. Is that what you're saying? No, what I'm saying, they talk about it. They want somebody to hear them. I don't know about attention. They just want somebody to hear them. There's a guy, true story. I'm, I'm at work. The guy's on 14th floor. I'm at work now. All right. Remember, I am a counselor. All right? I'm a Christian counselor. In real life, I'm a reverend. All right. Forget anything else. Yeah, well, we've we've seen all the documents and stuff on that. All right. And you see what if the paper said, "I am ordained." Did you read that part? They didn't take my license away from me. They yeah, didn't. but I, I I won't even get on that because that's a whole other subject. But go ahead, finish what you were saying, please. Now that's on there. All right. That's on there. Real life. I've been doing this for, uh, what, 26 years and count. Uh -huh. The person went in his house, right? Actually, you know what? Hold on. Can I say something? Go ahead. Let me say this real quick. So as a truck driver, right, I have a CDL, right? Mm -hmm. So there's certain things that I have to do to maintain my CDL. As an example, mm -hmm. I have to go in, I have to do a DOT physical every two years, right? Okay. Um. So with your licensing, one of the things that I find is kind of ironic is you do show like the proof of, of the little, you know, plaques or, you know, whatever they are that you said people gave to you. OK, I had to go to actual school eight years ago to drive a semi. Right. So you said that somebody gave you those certificates. But my question is to you. Are you saying that there's nothing that you have to do to keep those up to date? I, that's what I was trying to tell you is that those are on it. Remember I told you guys the other day, and thank you for listening to me, everybody. Those certificates that you see is honorary, right? It says honorary pastoral, right? Honorary doctor's divinity. I tell you those things are nothing but trophies somebody gave to me. That's Those are the two certificates I told you about. That's it, right? That's so if I went to the church to the same pastor, could he give me a, a certificate? My brother, stop for a second. Those are honorary. That's all they are. That's not what makes me a minister. What makes me a minister is that I, I am ordained. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hear you. I hear you. Like, for instance, I belong to the organization called... Um, how do we say it again? World Christianship Ministries. All right. Yeah, but that's already been debunked. So no, they no, already no. said that that was a lie. My brother, it was not debunked. All right. I show you the letter. If you want, text me. I give you the letter where it says that I am ordained by them. Okay. I will show you two letters. I show you the one that people did that did a lie. Right? And it said it was rebunk, and that was a lie. And then I'll show you the ones I'm bringing to court, the real ones. You see? So, I'm really ordained. Now, for me... Well, why don't you right? post that paperwork, though, if that's the case? Why do you need to send it to me directly? Can't you just show it on here so everybody can see it? Um, I can do that. Let me see. Yeah, if you could, that'd be Hold awesome, because then we could just it, screenshot it. Uh, we're lucky, because you know why we're real lucky? Because it doesn't, usually I use this phone, mm. you know, and then I can't do anything because I'm on this phone. All right, so let's go to it and show it to you. 
Okay. I feel lucky today that you ain't using that phone today. Because now I get to see what you're talking about. No, I'm just saying that's what usually basically what usually happens is that, you know, that's the phone that I always use. And so let's go to it. And can we see the doctor's certificate too? Why are we showing a certificate? I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. The doctor's certificate, those are only honorary. They're, they're oh, okay. So those are just given to you. They're, I already told you. You didn't have to go to college or get no credits. No, or they, I already told you guys that those things already, I already told you, all they are is honorary. You don't do Okay, it. okay. The only thing you can do is tell people about Jesus. That's it. All right. Can you bring up a uh, soldier for Christ? Hold on one second. Let me just get this. Right, where did I put it in? Hold on one second because I wanted to show you guys. And I'm going to drop down in about three minutes because i got to go in and get my, sign my paperwork. Okay. But I appreciate you, my brother. You know that, right? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. All right. And I, if I ever disrespect you in my life, you let me know. I'll be the first one that says sorry. My intention is never to disrespect anybody. Right. My intentions is, all right, first, let me give you this to show you this. All right, this is the organization. All right, that's the organization. We can't see this little blurry. How about now? Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's still a little blurry. Back it up just a little bit. Back it up a little bit. There you go. All right, I, I see it. Yeah, okay. That's who I'm under. Now, but see, my, my thing is, though, is some of the, is, while you look this up, let me say this. So some of the certificates and things that you didn't show, and like some of the letters about lawyers and different things with the whole Big Mike case, not that I want to get on that, but, you know, <clears throat> you didn't use fake addresses and different things like that. One so second, One second, sir. Yeah, go ahead, man. I about <laughs> Okay. I yeah, I've seen that one. I've seen I that did, one. But they lied about. Him. All right. And they, this is a lie. Now, here's the real deal. All right. Now, let me let me get to. No, keep on talking. I'm listening to you, my brother. Well, no, some of that stuff, I mean, you didn't made up addresses. You didn't put fake lawyers' names down. And I, stop you from printed, you didn't say that you printed your own certificates. My brother, my oh, brother. go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. One, the lawyer is real. Let Mr. Randall talk. Sir, one, the lawyer is real. He's not my lawyer. He's my friend. All right, he writes for me. He's a real lawyer. That's one. On May, on June, on June 18th, you're going to see he's a real lawyer. But he, that represents me. He's just writing for me because I'm visually impaired. I ask him to write what I need to write. But he is a real lawyer. But he's not. Okay. So you're going to see that on... If the judge reads it, because the judge already read it before. All right. So remember, he's not my lawyer, but he's a real. So he's just he's just helping you. Okay, I see. So let me ask you a question though, because I noticed you took your minute. glasses off. Go ahead. I'm sorry. One minute. The other thing, when you say I never fake addresses, I never use fake addresses. Okay. Well, there was on that letter that you used. It, it then what was it, the World Christian Ministry or or something that we seen that you had talked about. I'm Absolutely. sorry. Go ahead. Everything is real. It's not fake. Now, to answer your question about um, why do I take my glasses off? Because I'm visually impaired. If you look up visually impaired, it means glasses cannot correct my vision. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. No, I'm, I'm asking because I noticed you took them off. So I'm, I was going to ask you, can yeah. you see better when you take them off? No, just that I got to bring real close. That's all people. Right, so the glasses don't help when you bring it two inches away from your face is what I'm asking. It doesn't. Okay. That's why you see me... You'll see me doing this. That's why I tell a lot of people, if you look up what visually impaired means. Well, no, I just thought because of, of, of the, the thickness of your glasses that it, you would be able to see a little bit better I wish. With, with them versus with them off. I wish. But it doesn't work that way. Sorry to say. Are those trifocals, by the way? Um, try. They're try. They got three lenses in one. Oh, okay. Now, this is this one thing I wanted to show you guys, right? This is the court order, right? Yeah, I, I've seen that before. I, I think you posted it. Right. 
You Stop. were Big Mike. Why don't you post it? Yeah, no, it was me. He didn't post Okay. Yeah, we'll give you the credit. That's all right. Yeah, so I just want people to, to realize when I say things, all right, this is a real, this is real. All right, that's the lawyer, but he's not my lawyer. He just helps me. That's real. But I feel like Miss Kim looked into this, man. and, it, and Kim lied. That's what I was trying to tell you. Why would she lie on you, though? Uh, That's what yeah. I don't, let me finish one second. Go why ahead. would she lie on you and she's a licensed lawyer, man? I don't know. Every time I heard her come up here, man, I, I, you know, she, she didn't spoke nothing but the truth. And that ain't me being on nobody or none of that. But it's it's, it's serious. If I prove to she she lies, what are you going to say to me? Hey, uh, I tell you to give yourself a pat on the back and uh, take yourself off for a meet so while here. What thing I would show you that she lied? Okay, simple as that. As long as you're willing to receive what I'm saying, I will de definitely show you that she lied. Why do you move your fingers like that, man? You look like crab legs when you when you move you them like that. Can you see the stitches? No, I can't see those. I see a, it look like a crease in your arm, but... That's the stitches. Oh, your hand. That's oh, okay. The, both of my ribs been cut open because I have copper tunnel. And oh, okay, it, okay. But I, I have involuntary <laughs> movement. But anyways, like I was saying, man, I, I, every time I didn't hear Miss Kim talk, I got nothing but much respect for that lady, man, because she got patience. She be trying to come up here and explain things, and, you know, from the legal side. And I appreciate that, man, because I'm not no lawyer. I, I don't have no, no, uh, no degrees or nothing like that. I mean, I'm just a, a, a freight shaker, is what I am. You see what I'm saying? So, she helps me to be able to see it from a different point of view. And I don't have a problem with that. But no. you seem to have a lot against her. With, no, I what you be saying, my brother, my brother. All I say to people, right? And this is something I've been telling people. For a very long time, if I show you the proof, right? Well, you ain't showing me the proof. You saying hypothetically, if you show no, me the proof, because I, I need to know are you going to be able to hear me? Oh, I, I'm listening. I, I don't have a choice. I, I, I mean, I'll be hearing you. So, know. You know, will you be able to hear me? Because if you're going to hear me, then by all means, okay. I'm just trying to find it so I can show you guys. Um. Okay, this is this one. Might as well just give up on that, brother. That thing lost in the mail somewhere. No, no, no. This... Oh, okay. You found it? All right, <laughs> let me see here. That's the original thing that tells you everything about the court, right? It's, you only got it halfway in the camera, my brother. You got to move I it on over. I need to show it to you. You can see what I'm talking about. Hey, can you just read it to me? Now, I, I, I read it. I'm gonna, it's already posted on, you know, Facebook. You know? So, what I want you to just basically realize is that this document that I have, right, all the stuff that okay, I... Okay, before we get too far, can you bring up Soldier for Christ? He asked me a while ago to ask you to bring him up. I don't want too much stuff going on, and I don't get a chance to finish what I'm doing. Let me oh, just okay, okay. Multitasking, all right. Now, when, he when they talked about the lying of the certificates, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, I seen you post that one. It's upside down, but yeah, I see that one. I think you see that. I one. seen that one. All right. So. Yeah, I I seen that one. But some of them, it looked like you wrote on them, like you you filled them out yourself. No. Nope. You, you, you you did you peep that one out? Maybe it was just me. No, that's what I'm saying. I never. What I told people because I could tell that they were written with like an ink pen, like you, no, you filled I, them out yourself. No, what I told people, I said, look, as a pastor, we are the ones. Okay, as a pastor, this is what I said. We write our own certificates. Like when you get baptized, that's our certificates. All right. When you are minister, that's our certificate. All right. And I show people when I do it, that's ours. The only people that can do that, you know, are pastors. That's what I was mm. telling everybody. But people took an interpretation as I was saying, oh, I'm doing all the certificates. No, I never said that. What I said to you guys, I am the But one. that's the thing, though. So are you saying that you ordained yourself by making your own certificate because you had the ability to do it? No, that's what I'm saying. I couldn't do anything 
until I. Well, you just said that you made your own certificates. No, you're not understanding what I'm saying. I'm saying to you is that once I got ordained, now I have the ability to make my certificates. When I say certificates, I'm talking about baptism. I am talking about Christian stuff, you know, ordained people. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about any other certificate. So if somebody is under me, El Shaddai, I'm the one who gives them that authority because now I have the authority to give it. But this so could you give me that authority then? If God told me to. Oh, okay. Well, can you pray and ask him? Because I like a certificate myself. A certificate for what? What would you like a certificate for? Well, because I, I want to be, uh, I want to be ordained too, man. And I want to have, uh, I want to be known as Doctor Thomas. Yeah, Doctor Freight Shaker. Yeah, but the question is, did God call you? You know, I feel like God didn't call me in many ways, man, and, and, and some of that I actually do in actual real time in real life, man. I try to help people, you, you know. I, then would you say that you should? I think you should make me a certificate, man, because then I can no, put it on social media and I can let them know that you certify platinum. My brother, it doesn't work that way. Oh, okay. That doesn't tell me to ordain you. I'm not going to ordain you. It doesn't work. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make you certified platinum, brother. I could put your name on it and be like, hey, Dr. Randall gave me this. Nope. It doesn't even work that way. Yeah. You still looking for that paper, man? I'll just I'll look for it later, man, on your on your account. If you no, said you posted it, I don't want you to be straining yourself over there. No, I didn't. It ain't that serious. Anything. I just want you to get everything because that's what I was doing is this step by step you're seeing. You know, but you already basically seen what I was going to show you. Yeah, so don't worry about it, man. I don't want you hurting your eyes. That, that looks yeah, painful, but man. What I'm just saying is that what I was basically doing is this. You and everybody else is just to let you guys realize, you know, the way you think is the way you think. All right? Okay. But you got to understand the fact of the matter. We're going to agree to disagree, and that's what we do. No, that's cool. I understand that. I understand yeah. that. So let me ask you a question, man. When you put, so you just put your glasses back on. Mm -hmm. Them glasses, how do they help you? Because I would think, they like, for instance, my wife wears glasses, and it, it helps her to be able to, like, when she yeah. reads her books, and she can't see very far. Is, so go ahead and help me understand, brother. If your, if your wife, is your wife. Well, she don't got trifocals, no. No, listen to me. I'm asking you a question. Is your wife legally blind? No, she ain't legally blind. And, and she ain't going to understand, and you're not going to understand. I'm legally blind. Because well, they're thick, so I'm trying to figure out, like, if it helps you, did you like, when you have them on, because then you take them off when you look at your phone. What I'm saying, it doesn't really help. I said that to you before. Have you tried to have cataract surgery to see if that would help? That's going to help. That's what I'm trying to say to you. I'm lucky to be able to see. I was sitting there. Oh, okay. I, my, and I'm not joking that, about that, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be brother, I, I, I need you to listen to me, please. I'm listening, brother. I'm listening, man. I'm listening. Yeah. I'm lucky to see. I got hit in the head with a baseball bat. My eyes came out of my socket. All right. They completely fell on the ground? Mm hmm Like they like they fell out your head on the, no, on they, the ground? What they told me that was hanging by the auto. Okay. Wow. So I'm lucky to have what I have. You see? So that's why I'm saying... I've only seen those on like the little squishmallow things. I have what you call done so many surgeries. Okay, so many surgeries just to get the little bit that I do have, and I thank God for that. You see, and I ain't got medical documentation to prove that. And I said all this, people. People said, "Why are you saying it?" I said, "I just want to make sure people realize I can prove everything I say." But it's a shame that they can't do this. Well, then, see, that's the thing, though. That's that's the part that everybody struggles with, man. Is if you say everything that you're saying is the truth, man, why 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 can't you show that proof, man? Just it's, shut everybody yeah. up at once. You, instead, you want it to be like this game, this circus game where you prove people yeah. wrong. Give people if, if you got that in your deck of cards, just show people what you what you about. Show them who Randall is. Yeah, you got to prepare people. I mean, we know what Randall is, but just just Wait. show people what it is. It doesn't work that way. You got to remember. Oh, okay. When people, I'm, I'm not, no caps here. When people. Are, no caps. It's cap, not caps. But go ahead, yeah. On caps. That's just me. 
okay. You know, you can't prove people to be what they are. They either they both kick me off. All right. Right or wrong. Right or wrong. All right, but anyway, Mr. Randall, I got to get going, man. I got to get inside my stop here and sign my paperwork, man. So I'm going to go ahead and drop down, brother. But it is – I'm sorry, go ahead. All right, no, I'm just saying that's good what you're saying. Hold on. You just tell the person at the door to hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. Mommy came to work today. Oh, <laughs> gotta change that pamper and get them clothes changed. 